What's up everybody? It's the Barnes Brothers. Today's topic is superhero movies. All right, there are three big ones coming out this year. The Dark Knight Rises, The Avengers, and The Amazing Spider-Man. And what this is about is why you should be excited for all three. There's a lot of, you know, flame wars on the internet about which one's better or this is greater than that and all blah 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 and why this movie's going to be terrible but this one's going to be awesome. But here is why I am excited about all three. And I'm going to start with my favorite, The Dark Knight Rises. All right, let's get started. All right, Dark Knight Rises. Now, I love Batman, but um, what Christopher Nolan has been doing with these movies is awesome. You know, uh, produced by Legendary Pictures, uh, directed by Christopher Nolan. What he has done with the Batman mythos, I really love it. Uh, some people fault it for not being true to the comics, and um, some people say it's a little bit too realistic. Actually, I'm going to get onto that a little bit later, but I like what he's doing with it. He's doing a very good job. I mean, they're very successful. Um, um, I love what he did with, um, with Heath Ledger did with Joker, um, in The Dark Knight, and, um, even Batman Begins, I recently went back and watched that whole movie, I really liked just the whole way that was dealt with, I really do like the movies, I really like the way they're being handled, you're right, they're not necessarily very true to the comics, but it's more realistic in the sense that you could see something like that almost possibly happening in the real world. Now, one, um, thing that people say against it is that, you know, superheroes are real, so... Why are you trying to make it realistic? Just stick to the comments and things like that. You know? And that's why I'm going to talk about Avengers in a second. Why I like Avengers? Because Avengers, to me, is more of a comic book movie. And there's a place for that, and that's awesome. And so I like the world we can have both of those. And right now, we're having both of those. You have Marvel doing stuff with their movies that's just, like, straight up, just really, maybe not necessarily true, true, true to the comics, but just are very fun. And you don't, I don't go to see Marvel Studios movies for something deep and thought-provoking. I don't plan to leave really thinking about something really philosophical. I plan leaving knowing that I just saw some cool explosions, some awesome action, some comedy, some funness. I feel like... I left reading a comic book, basically. And that's what I like about Marvel Studios movies. And um, at the same time, I also like to have a world where at the same time I can go see something like Batman, which is more, more grounded in reality and dark and brooding and philosophical and things like that. And that's why I'm excited for Dark Knight Rises. You know, I'm excited to see how he ends this trilogy. I really think it's going to do very well. Some people have been complaining about the costumes of like Bane and Catwoman and stuff like that. I trust Chris, Christopher Nolan. Now, he's going to do fine. Just even talk about Bane's voice and that being, um, being able to be understood. All right, a couple times I didn't understand Batman. I still enjoy the movie. I watch it, get on DVD, and look at the subtitles. subtitles. Whatever. I get that. I'm, re I'm really going to enjoy it. What, what do you think about uh, Dark Knight Rises? Yeah, um, Dark Knight Rises, I guess I, I had to so, somewhat agree with you. You know, it's a good movie. And if all the ones that have the most realistic, if you're going for a realistic feel, I, I like it because to me it's kind of a, um, what's the example I'll use? Probably like it's like an agent for um, the geek community. Or the comic community in the sense of getting people, I guess, for putting it more mainstream. So we would say, "Oh, look at this this Batman guy." I know you would assume everyone knows Batman, but for anyone who doesn't know who Batman is, they might just come into it and say, "Oh, I like this. This was a good movie." Blah yeah. blah blah, and it might get them into comics, and you know, so it, for as far as that and getting the the you know the comic scene exposure to blow mm -hmm. up and all that stuff then you know i think if it does mm -hmm. it could do that for it I yeah think, you know and um yeah that, that's, that's a good thing you know so a lot of times there were movies that have been made in the past that are very corny and if anything they hurt the comics industry because they gave a twisted view of uh comics characters i remember the first introduction i ever had to bane was the batman and robin movie and i thought for the longest time that bane was very stupid character and blah 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 and just mindless and things like that that's what i really thought it wasn't until after i started getting in the comics that i realized that bane was one of uh, batman's most formidable villains it was actually like a genius and so now i think they're going to kind of portray that in uh, Dark Knight Rises. So whether or not you feel that Dark Knight Rises is true to the comics or, you know, it's too realistic, I don't think it's in any way hurting the comics industry. If anything, I would say that it helps because I'm not going to say that it's improving it and making it better because I love what's going on in comics, but I believe it has its own place and that, like Denzel was saying, it can kind of draw people in and say, hmm, I want to learn more about Batman and you make it some more comics fans out of it. So really, I think there's, it's perfectly fine for Dark Knight Rises to be the way it is in contrast to something like Avengers, which is what we'll be going to next.